We are pretty excited, aren't we? Yes. We just picked up this box from the bank, just kind of on a whim while we were out getting some gas for the truck. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to tell you what's in it yet. You've got to watch the video, but we have never had one of these. Stay tuned. It's pretty exciting. I found my first Canadian. And what, your second second roll? Yeah, custard roll. And where is it? Okay, it's right here. It is a 1976. And I just found one as well. And it is 1964. So just so you know, I'm going through the uh, bank wrap rolls. Carter likes custom wrap rolls. I like bank wrap rolls better. Yep. <laughs> but hey, we'll see what we find. Two Canadians, good start. Looks like next roll, another Canadian, 1961. And a little quick on the camera today, uh, another Canadian, same roll, 1973. That looks like yeah, that is it for this roll. Canadian, and my dad is checking it because there's like stuff on it. It's super covered in gunk. Don't know the year, but we'll work on it later. Nothing special, pretty common, but it's a keeper. If all we're going to get is Canadians, we probably won't film all of them. But there's two that stuck right out as I dumped this roll. This one is the commemorative one. We've seen that one before. And then this one is a pretty good looking 2005. So, oh, look at there, first one. Wee Penny. There's oh Wee Penny. Fine, finally found one there. And that is from, very common, 1958 Denver. Good roll. Pretty nasty looking, but there's a Wheat Penny from 1946. Multi-roll, this is two more Canadian pennies. Okay, look, look at my stack. <laughs> To his stack. 1994 and oh look at there 1941 like Ooh. the older ones there um yeah i nice. think right now the bank rolls are definitely kicking the customer um, but yeah. eventually when carter gets done with the customer yeah. wrap rolls he'll switch over to bank wrap rolls because mm -hmm. there's more of those but so far i'm kind of kicking your butt <laughs> so i think i found my second canadian after a while <laughs> um but it is a 76. I'm coming since, well, this is my first wee penny. And the cusp for wrap rolls, yeah. wow. And you're almost done with those. Uh, yeah, two more. Nice. What year you got, buddy? Um, let's see. Oh, 57D. Ooh, 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 look here. Look, just kidding. I didn't find oh anything. Oh, gosh. This is not funny. <laughs> Guys, it's been a while since we have found anything. And if we didn't have this special roll that we're going to show you in a little bit, this would be kind of an unremarkable box, really. I mean, we found several um, Canadian yes. cents. But here is, I think, what, the second, third wheat penny of the box. And it's just a normal 1952 Denver that we're going to keep it. A wheat penny. Um, let's check what year it is. Is a 54D. Let's keep it. I was getting ready to open up this <laughs> roll, but I'm gonna let Carter open it up. It's yeah. another great ender. It is. Plus this one. Yeah, plus this one, but it's a 1923. So we're gonna save that towards. It's 27. Some... Looks like 27. Well, let me get my magnifying glass out here since I can't. No, it is a 1923. So yes. we're gonna save that towards the end as well. All right, so I found a Canadian in a bank grab roll, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm, well, I'm. Yeah, we don't have many uh, rolls left, but... We have five bank wrap rolls left, plus the two special ones. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll find some goodies. So it is a 86. So I found my first wee penny in the bank rolls. And it is a um, 44D. Pretty good. My second wee in the bank roll, and I got a... 55 DNA. Okay, and I've got one peeking out here too. This is my last bank roll, and then Carter will get into the exciting enders we have there. This one looks pretty new, and it is a 1950. So I think that's about it for. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Sam roll, 1946. Nice. See if there's anything else, real quick. We don't see anything. So, gosh, pretty excited to see what's in these last two rolls. So the time has come to open up the last two rolls that we knew were enders. This one's really special to us, but this is a great one too, 1923. And we'll see if there's anything else in it. So that roll just had the 23 ender, which is a great 
addition to the collection. As you can see, this one is um, an Indian head penny, and it has the shield at the top of it here where my finger's tapping. Uh, that means it is going to be 1860 or later. We That's checked the crazy. book. The first year they came out with these in 1859, there was no shield at the top. So we know this is 1860 or later, and Carter is going to open it. Okay, so... Pull that sucker out and see what year it is. Okay. It is a 1902. 1902. Let's get that in there. You know that, oh, uh, and a Canadian. Well, so, hang on. Let's look at one, yeah. one, at, one at a time here. 1902. So it's a common one. It's worth a couple bucks. Uh, it's a little blurry. There we go. But that's a great find anytime you find an Indian head penny in a box. Okay, so. Let's pull that sucker out and see what year it is. Okay. It is a 1902. 1902. Let's get that in there for you. know that. Oh, uh, and a Canadian. Well, so, hang on. Let's look at one, yeah. one, at a, one at a time here. 1902. So it's a common one. It's worth a couple bucks. Uh, it's a little blurry. There we go. But that's a great find anytime you find an Indian head penny. In a box. Okay, so I found a Canadian. It is in 1979. Mm -hmm. And a uh, kind of a shiny wee penny. And I'm going to check what year. A 53D. So three great finds, one roll. Good job. Overall, this box did not disappoint. Carter's going to give you the final tally of what we found here. Okay, so um, Canadians, we got 14. Mm -hmm. Including some older ones, right? Yeah. Like right here. Mm, yeah. Um, and then 11 wheats. Nice. And then one. And what's the prize of the whole box? A uh, Indian head. A 1902 Indian head. All right. What do you want to tell everybody? Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Um, and yeah. And look, Carter's mom made an appearance in the right. video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks.